Ugh! Burning dog fans, what are you doing here? Uh, no, I wasn't avoiding the LP. It's just that the last time I played, uh, Castlevania, the... Well, you know, I did crazy puzzles, and I got super frustrated, and... Pan made me murder him, and some crazy shit went down. It's just so much less stressful here in, uh, Starbound. I mean, yeah, there are monsters, and fireworks appear to be raining from the sky, but, uh, I mean, look at this, I can just stay in, and... Do you have any idea how uh, long I had to figure out how to work to figure out uh, how to make a farm on a planet where it rains almost all the time? I made one underground! The biggest source of stress was working out an underground farm! I want to stay here, farm bananas, and potatoes, and whatever these things are, and maybe some bread. Nope, you're not going to get me to go back. Nothing doing. Dum-dum-dum. Dum-dum-dum. Oh, don't give me that look. All right, all right. Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay, okay, here we are back in, uh... Let's play Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. I had to grab the chupacabra again, but at least I didn't have to uh, blow up its prison. Take this with me. You never know when the power to destroy everything will come in handy. He said, facetiously. Right, how the fuck does this work? What is this? Oh, I see! So I have to hit both gongs, and these guys are literally just here to get in my way. Ah! How about I use the crystal to wipe them all out? Actually, no, I've got a better idea. Sucks to be you guys. Ooh, that was a hard click. Special thanks to Glom the Apex for letting me uh, use his house in the intro. I'm of course being facetious as I am Glom the Apex, but hey, always nice to give credit where credit's due. Oh. What are you hitting me with? I love that, just fuck off. Oh, hey. Motherfucker! Uh... Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, squeaky chair. Where did I leave that? I have a big pad of paper around here somewhere. There we go, this will do. I'm going to make a list of all the levels where I'm missing a life gem. Let's start with chapter 2 because I know I got everything in chapter 1.
Oh, all right. What the hell? Let's write down everything. CH2. Dark Dungeon. One light. One dark. Okay, you know what? Let's jump cut past this. You don't want to see me making all these notes. Boosh! Okay. So I wrote everything down. It looks like I'm missing five whole pieces of, uh, six actually, of the uh, crystal. Which means if I found all of them, I would be two levels higher right now. This is the, uh, Sanctuary's Entrance ep uh, level from, I don't know, World 3. I finally stumbled across this while searching it for, uh, let me see. Uh, one light crystal and a dagger upgrade. I wonder which one this will be, he said, staring at the arc. This level is much nicer if you started with a uh, crystal, because then Claudia doesn't yell at you the whole time. I remember at least one other place where I found one of these before I found the stake upgrade. Was, of course, it was back in the werewolf level, and I got the stake in the vampire lands. I don't really see why the stake is necessary for that. Either way. Mm -mm. Of course, the problem with this is that, uh... A crystal is consumed at the end of the level, I think. So I, uh... I have to go out there and find a new one in order to keep it in my inventory. I can't remember what I was supposed to do here. Oh well. Likelihood, it doesn't matter. Oh, hey. Jesus Christ. Did I really just find the other thing, too? I thought this is the way I came. Oh, geez. Sorry to stay standing in your throat like that, brother. Rest in peace. Well, the good news is I don't need to come back to this level again. The bad news is... I don't remember how to get out, so I'll just uh, jump cut back out of the world map. Boosh! <laughs> Hooray! Well, I can cross that level off. So there's that, at least. We're not exactly on schedule. So I'm just going to skip through this level, because I know this is one where I can relatively easily get my hands on a, uh, magic gem. No, no, I changed my mind. Crematory oven. Uh, I'm going to jump back into this one, because there's actually stuff to find here. So the old god is dead. All right. It has come to the... Well, I still hate the chupacabra, but I found this guy tucked away in the corner. Rest in peace, brother. Ah, <sighs> that's exactly what I wanted to see. Awesome. You have filled your life gem medallion, upgrading your health. Sacrifice will be remembered. Hello! Hello! Let me just deal with this asshole and then I'll be right with you guys. And this, as they say, is where you came in. Hot! Hot! 
I never see you again, it will be too soon. Oh, no, I can't get in here. If the camera would cooperate. I'll take that. something. I even missed. Don't fake. Yeesh. some of that holy water. Come to the end of the last of the zombies. What the wise ass? Oh boy, what a hassle. Excellent. The crematory oven. Fueled by the very flames of hell itself, the crematory oven is where the grave digger does his ghastly work. A powerful demon, whose mighty shovel can cleave a man in two with one stroke. The gravedigger will rip the very soul from Gabriel, given half the chance. Yet I sense that our hero is more than a match for this creature. This could be interesting indeed. I sense Gabriel's rage welling up within him, and I wonder who is the more terrible, our hero or the demon. say that doesn't look much like a shovel, but hey. Gravedigger. The necromancer is said to be able to, had to keep a constant supply of corpses in order to build their army of the undead. To sustain the immense cemeteries where all these bodies were kept, the necromancers relied on the Gravedigger, an enslaved, nameless demon mutated and empowered of the tainted magic of these evil sorcerers. The Gravedigger uses a giant shovel to exhume the dead, and this also makes a formidable weapon in combat. Good, one of you. 
Why is that one blowing? Why do they do that? I refute ye. Oh, now I get it. This is going to be a pain. know what just happened there. they die like that after a few moments? It's very strange. I apologize for the, uh, level wandering to take up more of the video than I intended. I got some good loot out of it. Now they'll never save your brain. seen that back there, I wouldn't have used up my magic. Oh, never mind, there's one of these, too. Mm. It's good for what ails you. How many red crystals do I have? Well, I've got more than enough on this list to, uh... Yeah. 
it will get to the next level. Oh, really not looking forward to going back to the uh, Abbey. Ah, delicious. Righto. The crematory oven, I suppose. Why would you burn the corpses? Why is your cod piece low? Well, let's dance. Oh, all right, not the best of starts. Oh God. Okay, he's got a specific move designed to uh, react to that. Fuck. Looks just like any of his other attacks. See, that looks more like it would be the uh, the big shockwave attack. Oh god! I'm going to display keep away. Punch one in the snow to establish dominance. Fuck! Rimini. I keep having to end off videos in the middle of fights. Let's do that. The Gabriel and Ga the, the the Gabriel the Grave Digger and Gabriel exchanged blows in front of the massive iron doors of the oven, and we'll see how that turns out in the next episode of Let's Play Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. Only put the gravedigger in the ground. See you then, Burning Dog fans.